Green lights are, it's a metaphor for things in our life. Uh, green lights mean go, you know, they affirm our way. Proceed, please, more. Onward, yes, freedom. Yellow and red lights slow us down or make us stop. They're hardships or crises that we have in our life, times for introspection or what have you. We don't really want them. We don't really like them because of those reasons, but we usually find out that we needed them for some reason. Um, thirdly, I, I understand that uh, in looking through the last 50 years of my life in journals, I noticed that I engineered green lights in my future. Uh, with great deliberation and intentionality, meaning I took responsibilities or sacrificed things today in ways that teed me up for more freedom tomorrow, teed me up for more possibility to succeed tomorrow, teed me up for less stress tomorrow, all the way down to people who go, uh, you know, what's a simple one? And I go, well, look, here's a very simple one. Put your coffee in your coffee filter the night before you go to bed so when you get up in the morning, all you got to do is press the button. That's being kind and cool to your future self. That's creating a green light in your future. Now, yes, you can engineer, but then sometimes green lights just fall on our lap and there's no reason behind it. We have no idea why we got fortunate at that time, but hey, let's do something with it and take advantage of that right now. Um, the final sort of uh, metaphor is that all the yellows and reds, those ones that we don't, may not want, but find out we need, they do eventually turn green in the rear view mirror of life. Meaning we, the, we'll have a lesson we're supposed to learn in that red and yellow light that we may realize it when we're in it. We may not realize it till next week, next month, next year. We may not realize it till we're on our deathbed. I even venture to say that some of our red and, red and yellow lights will not reveal their green light assets until they, our great, great grandkids understand the lesson that was to be learned. Um, the other, the other thing is the real green light, and a, a friend of mine brought this up, comes in the art of what do you do at the yellow light? Because sometimes we get that yellow light and it's like, yes, slow down, I need a red light. I need some real introspection here. Other times, we should approach a yellow light and look at that crisis and go, you know what? That's a little bitty molehill. I'm not gonna give that crisis credit. I'm not gonna slow down for that. I'm not gonna, because if you dwell on that yellow light, you're gonna end up in a red. Sometimes we just need to put the pedal to the metal and say, I'm not slowing down for this one. It's not worth my time.